Hi everyone, welcome to the Droidy channel. Today's video will explain to you how to unlock Android phone with Google account. In a modern society where information protection is increasingly strengthened, mobile phones have become the most important carrier of personal information. To keep the information on our phones safe, screen locks have finally become the most popular security measure to prevent others from accessing our phones. But what if your phone is locked and you forgot your password or PIN? How to unlock Android phone using Google account. Under normal circumstances, when our Android phone is locked, we can wait for the phone lock time to be zero and use fingerprint unlocking or face recognition unlocking. Of course, this depends on whether your phone has set up either fingerprint unlocking or face recognition unlocking. In addition, if your Android phone is set up with the smart lock function, you can also take your phone to its trusted location, trusted device accessories, and personal detection to unlock the Android phone. However, if you have not set up any method to unlock your Android phone, don't worry, there is another very safe method is to unlock Android phone with Google account. Mobile phone models that these methods are applicable to include Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, OnePulse, Vivo, Oppo, Sony, LG, HTC. Please be patient and watch this video to the end. At the beginning of the third method of the video we will also tell you how to unlock your Android phone without using a Google account. Practice shows that more than 70% of Android smartphones run Google's ecosystem, and Google and the Android operating system are inextricably linked. If you want to unlock Android phone using Google account, or maybe you're familiar with Google's operating system, or maybe you don't want to pay something to unlock your phone, or maybe you want to unlock an Android phone with Google account yourself. Generally speaking, as long as your phone is properly connected to mobile data or Wi-Fi network, you can choose to unlock Android device with Google account. So now, how to unlock Android phone with Google account? Please follow me, we have found the first two feasible and effective methods to unlock Android device with Gmail in this video. Of course, you can also use other methods to unlock your Android phone without using a Google account. Some methods may clear all data on your phone before unlocking it. So, make sure you have the data you need backed up before using these methods to reset your phone. Now, please follow our steps to try unlock Android device with Google account and password method by method. If you think this video is good, you can subscribe, like or leave a message to tell us which method helped you solve the problem. Method 1 is to use Google Find My Device to unlock your phone. How to unlock Android device with Gmail. This is the first method we tried. Google has a free service called Find My Device. This service requires unlocking a locked Android phone with Google account. So, you can use Google Find My Device to reset your Android phone. If you need to use Google Find My Device to solve the problem of forget password on your Android phone, first, you need to use your computer to visit google.com slash android slash device manager. In Google Find My Settings you need to log into your Google account. Log into your Google account. Additionally, you need to turn on your Android phone location and connect to a data network or Wi-Fi. After completing the above steps, please find and confirm your Android phone information on the computer screen. There will be three options on the left side of the computer screen, ring, lock, and erase. The function we are using today is the erasure function. The erasure function will completely clear the information on your Android phone. If there is necessary data in the Android phone, please back up the data first and then erase the data. Next, please click to erase the device. After clicking, the page will jump and the login interface will appear. At this time, you need to log into your Google account again. Please enter your Google account and password and click confirm. After the login is completed, the page will jump back to the Google Find My Settings page. Here, please click Erase Device again. Erase Device may require you to wait patiently for a while. While waiting for erasure, please note whether your Android phone is preparing or undergoing a reset. After the reset is complete, your Android phone will display the interface you used when you first opened the phone when you purchased it. Later, if you need to set a new Android lock screen password, please remember the password and write it down in a safe place to avoid the forgotten Android phone password problem again. Method 2 is to use forgotten pattern to unlock Android phone. This method requires you to log into your Google account and verify successfully to unlock Android phone lock with Google account. If your Android device is running Android 4.4 or below, you can use this method to unlock your phone. Since there is a built-in bypass mechanism for unlocking the screen lock, this mechanism has been removed in Android 5.0 and above. If the forget pattern button doesn't appear after 5 attempts, this method doesn't work on your phone. After entering wrong numbers or letters, you can find the forgot pattern slash password slash pin button. Please click the forgot pattern button, after clicking it you will enter the Google account verification page. You will be asked to log in with your Google account. Make sure you're logged into an account associated with a locked Android device. After successfully logging in, you can unlock your original screen lock and reset it to a new pattern. Finally, save it, configure a new login, and use this new code to bypass Android mode lock. After that, you will be able to use your phone normally.
At this time, you can consider whether to reset the unlock password on your Android phone. Method 3 is to use your fingerprint unlock or face recognition to unlock the phone. From here on, you can unlock your Android phone without using Gmail. Two features available on modern Android phones are fingerprint unlocking and face recognition unlocking, at which point you can use one of these two methods to unlock your Android phone. This method is simple and very efficient. When you need to use your fingerprint unlock or face recognition to unlock an Android phone without a Google account, your Android phone must have set one of these before forgetting the password. The Samsung phone in my hand is set up with fingerprint unlocking. Now, you need to wait for the lock countdown to end. After that, turn on the phone. The fingerprint unlock position will be displayed on the phone screen. You only need to place the phone with the fingerprint unlock on the Samsung phone screen unlock position. At this time, your phone will be unlocked. Return to the home screen. If your phone has a home button, just place the phone you set up for fingerprint unlocking on the home button. If your Samsung phone is set up with face recognition to unlock the phone, you can align the Samsung phone with your eyes after the countdown ends. Method 4 is to use smart lock to unlock the phone without a Google account. The next method is to use the smart lock feature, which can unlock Android phone passcode without using Gmail. There is a smart lock feature on Android phones. If you have enabled the smart lock feature on your phone before Android is locked, it allows the device owner to unlock the Android phone from a trusted location, near a trusted device, and on body detection. You don't need to enter your Google account and password, nor do you need to restore factory settings to unlock. For example, if you've set up Smart Lock to use your home address as a trusted location, you can take your phone home and it will automatically unlock whenever you're near that address, without the need for an unlock code. If you set up a Samsung phone to be unlocked near a trusted device, then the locked Samsung phone will be unlocked near the trusted device. If you set up on body detection, the locked Samsung phone can be unlocked normally as long as it is close to your body or the temperature reaches the unlocking standard. Method 5 is to restore the factory settings to clear the Android phone password. Restoring factory settings in recovery mode can solve most problems with Android phones, and it is also one of the most efficient ways to unlock Android phones. Before trying this method, make sure you have saved all the data you think is important in a safe place, otherwise you will lose all the data on your device. Next, please follow the steps below to restore your phone to factory settings. Connect your phone to your computer. Then, make sure your phone is turned off and wait at least 30 seconds. Next, press the volume up button and power button simultaneously until you see the recovery mode screen. In the Android recovery screen, select wipe data slash factory reset using volume buttons and press the power button to confirm. Then, select factory reset using the volume buttons and confirm by selecting the yes option using the volume buttons. This will trigger the reset process, which should only take 2 to 3 seconds to complete. Once completed, it will take you back to the same recovery mode. Use the power button to select the restart system now option. Finally, your phone will open and reboot to the home screen, which will appear as it did when you first opened the phone when you purchased it. At this point your Android phone has cleared all data, which is consistent with the erasure function in Google Find My Device, and the Android forgotten password problem will no longer exist. Finally, please reset your Android phone password and save it in an important place to reduce the risk of forgetting your Android phone password. Method 6 is Samsung's Find My Phone service to unlock your phone without a password. If you have a Samsung phone, a very easy way is to use Samsung's Find My Phone service to open an Android phone without Google account or password. Samsung offers a feature on all phones that allows you to log in if you lose your device. Devices can be managed remotely, including the function of resetting Android phone passwords. First, you need to log into your Samsung account on your mobile phone and must have a Wi-Fi or mobile data connection. After the mobile phone is connected to Wi-Fi or mobile data connection, please turn on your computer. Next we need to use the computer to pass Find My Phone to reset your phone password. Please follow the steps below. Open the search engine on your computer, navigate to findmymobile.samsung.com, and log into your Samsung account and password on the web login page. After logging in, you will enter a new interface. In the upper left corner of the new interface is your device information. Please confirm whether it is the Samsung phone that currently needs to delete data. If not, please replace it and select the device. The upper right corner is the functional area, which includes the delete data option, which will delete all data in the Samsung phone. Please click the delete data option. After clicking, you will see a new window and ask you to enter the verification code. Please follow the prompts to complete all steps. Once completed, your Samsung phone will begin the reset process. Your Samsung phone will automatically return to the home screen, and all screen locks on your phone, including pattern locks, pins, passwords, and biometric information, will be deleted. Method 7 is to seek professional help. If you have tried all the above methods and still can't get into your locked Android phone, then take your phone to a mobile store and let a professional check it and get your Android phone on the home screen. 
Finally, I would like to remind you that if you set an Android phone password, you can write down your Android phone password in a safe place at home, or set a password that is easy to remember and meaningful. That's it for today's video. If you find this video helpful and think we did a good job, please like, share and tell us which method helped you solve the problem in the message area. At the same time, if you think there is anything we need to improve, you can also express your opinions and suggestions in the message area. Thanks. Good luck.